Okay, you guys, we are on lesson 8 of chapter 8, linear and quadratic functions. So, what you know already, let's review. You can set up a function using arrow notation like this, the function f, which is um, mapped to x like this, uh, 4x plus 5. Or you can use function notation. Or you can use y equals. All three of these mean the exact same thing. Since we're talking about functions, we're going to be focusing on the function notation. But remember that arrow notation and the equal sign with the y all mean the same thing. f of x is just the y. Okay, now what's your mission in this lesson? In this lesson, you need to be able to graph lines. And you need to be able to graph quadratic functions. That's something new. So what shape is that going to be? Well, let's find out. Um, when you see an equation like this, you should know right away what kind of graph that's going to be. It's going to be a line, and you know that. Okay, now let's look at another one. Suppose I have a function called h mapped to k, so uh, x, excuse me. So h of x is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 2. Now remember, I could say y equals x squared minus 2x minus 2. When you, this is not a line. A line only has an x with no exponents. When you see something squared like this, x squared, then this is going to be called a quadratic function. And the shape is a parabola. So, the graph of a line or the graph of a parabola. And a parabola looks like this. Or it could open down, either one. We're going to graph one that goes up, we're going to graph one that goes down, and then talk about how you can graph them a little bit easier than the way we're going to do it to start. Okay, so to start us off here, I'm going to write down y equals x squared minus 2x minus 2. Now, you can always graph an xy thing by a t-chart. X and Y. So when you have to pick some numbers here, we'll just pick negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I just picked those. You can pick what you want. But it's a good idea to have enough points because if you don't know what the shape of the graph is going to be like, it's really easy to miss it. So uh, make sure you pick enough points, and then I'll show you how to make sure you graph a parabola the right way. Remember, parabola is looking like this. There's going to be a turn. could be up or down. We'll learn more about it here as we go. So take negative 2, plug it in here, and we will get 6. Take negative 1, plug it into the x, and we will get 1. Plug in 0, negative 2. Plug in 1, we'll get negative 3. Plug in 2, we'll get negative 2. Plug in 3, we'll get 1. Plug in 4, we'll get 6. Now, I didn't do the math in front of you right here to save a little time, but I will do one of them just to show you, make sure you know what I mean when I say plugging them in. So negative 2 squared minus 2 times negative 2 minus 2. That's 4 uh, minus a negative 4 minus 2. So 4 plus 4 minus 2, 8 minus 2, 6. That's how we got the number. We took the x and put it in and found the y. So now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 different points that we can plot to help us find our shape. Let's do it. Get you some graph paper or do the old school just draw it up way. Okay. Now, we're anticipating the parabola shape. We're, we already know it's going to be one of these curves, a parabola, because the equation is x squared 
minus 2x minus 2. That squared means it's a parabola. If you see that squared, it's a parabola. So let's put our points on there. So I've got negative 2, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Negative 2, 6. Negative 1, 1. 0, negative 2. 1, 3. Oh, excuse me. 1, negative 3. 2, negative 2. 3, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. Up here by 6 again. Okay, can you kind of see the curve? Now, this is not anywhere near enough points. If you just connect them, you're going to look like some kind of Frankenstein V. So what we're going to do is we're going to smooth it out as we draw. Uh, well, as best you can. You can do better than me, so go for it. Okay, so there's our parabola. We did it. Now, there's a couple things we need to notice about a parabola graph. One is that when it opens upward, this point, which is um, 2, negative 2, is the minimum point. Oh, excuse me, I did that wrong. That's not 2, 2. I meant the very bottom one. It's the 1, negative 3. This is the minimum point, and uh, it's the lowest that the y will go. So what's the minimum value of this parabola? The minimum value of this parabola is negative 3. This graph will never have a y of something less than negative 3 because it just keeps going up. Okay? So the least value of this function is negative 3. The minimum point is 1, negative 3. And that, something else to notice. This line holding this point is like a mirror... For the two sides. I didn't draw it super awesome, but you get the idea. This side maps onto this side right here. This is called the axis of symmetry. And it is equal to the line x equals 1. That's its axis of symmetry. Okay, um, this point's called the vertex. It's the hinge. So we have the vertex of 1, negative 3. And we have the axis of symmetry, 1. Okay, let's do another one that opens down. Let me get my paper ready. Okay, so we graphed one that opened up. Now let's graph another one that opens down. Y equals negative x squared plus 2x plus 2. I'm going to pick my points, and to save time, I'm not going to do the calculation, but I want you to remember that every x that we pick, you plug in here, and then we can graph it. So I've got negative 2. Negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, these are just points we picked to make it work. So when I plug it in, I'm going to get negative 6, negative 1, 2, 3, 2, negative 1, and negative 6. Now, we get our graph ready, and I already told you it's going to open down. So we're going to go 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's one point. Negative 1, negative 1, 0, 2. Hold on, what am I doing wrong here? Negative, oh! Yeah. Negative 2, negative 6. Sorry. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Negative 2, negative 6. 0, 2, 1, 3. 2, 2. 3, negative 1. And 4, negative 6. Okay, I'm going to see if I can do this better than I did that last one. Oh, so smooth. That's like butter on a hot biscuit right there. That's how smooth that is. Look at that. That's nice. Okay, so there it is. It opens downward. Now, since this one opens down, this is no longer a minimum point. This is a maximum point because, look, it's the highest the Y value will ever get, and it is 1, 3. So the maximum value or the greatest value is 3. The maximum point is 1, 3, which is also called the vertex again. It's the hinge point. And then the axis of symmetry is x equals 1. Okay, so now here's we're going to generalize this because you need to learn how to handle any parabola that gets thrown at you. So here it is. Um, f of x is equal to a 
x squared plus bx plus c. Now if I, uh, and you can always remember that the f of x is another way to refer to the value of the function or y. So either one of these are the same thing. And don't forget arrow notation. It's all good. Okay, here's a tip. Look at the number in front of the x squared, the a. Um, for example, let me, let me throw one up here. y equals x squared plus 4x minus 2. y equals negative 4x squared minus 2x plus 9. y equals 1 half x squared plus 4x minus 1. Okay, a is the number in front of the x squared. If there is no number, we, we just remember there's a 1 there. If a is positive, it opens up. So this is an up opening parabola. If a is negative, it's a down opening parabola. So which one would this be? Good. Up opening because a is positive. Now, <clears throat> we're going to, um, I'm going to give you a little shortcut here. You can find the vertex almost, well, not instantly, but way easier than guessing. If you take the B and the A, there's a little formula that will help you find this one, the X value. You can always plug in negative B over 2A and find the vertex um, coordinate by, by finding the X. And then you plug that back in to find the Y. Let me show you on one. So um, let's start with Y equals 2X squared plus 4X minus 3. Now remember, this is A, this is B, and this is C. And I'm going to start by looking for negative B over 2A. So B is 4. So negative 4 over 2 times A. Negative 4 over 4 is negative 1. So I know that my vertex... My vertex is going to have negative 1 and then something. How do I find the something? How do I find the missing y? I take negative 1 and plug it back into this. If I plug negative 1 into this, I will get... Let's just find out together. So I plugged in negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. 2 times 1 plus negative 4 minus 3. 2 and negative 4 is negative 2 minus 3, negative 5. We have the vertex. Yes. Okay, now what? We have the vertex, but we need to be able to graph it. Well, let me write this down again so you can see what we're doing here. So I've got y equals 2x squared plus 4x minus 3, and I know my vertex. Um, oh, does this one open up or down? Where it's going to open up. And we know what this is going to be. So we're going to use this tip right here and slap it right here in the middle. Negative 1, negative 5. Because since this is a mirror, we want to pick maybe two points here, two points there. So when we start with negative 1 in the middle, then let's go backwards and maybe pick negative 2 and then negative 3. Those are smart points to pick because it's on this side of the vertex. Then we'll scoot over by going to the right and pick 0 and 1. So we found the middle and pick 2 on each side of it so we know we'll take care of our graph. So plug in negative 3 and you'll get 3. Plug in negative 2 and you'll get negative 3. Plug in 0, you get negative 3. Plug in 1 and you get 3. Now we have a good sense of this graph just from five well-chosen points, one of them which is the vertex. So I'm going to go negative one, one, two, three, four, five, and I know that's my vertex, and I'm expecting it to go like this up. So let's plot the rest. Negative three, one, two, three, right there. Negative two, one, two, three. Then I'm going to be on this side, and it should mirror right here on the axis of symmetry. So I'm going to go 0, 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 3. And it did. It mirrored perfectly. So now we can sketch it in. Remember to make it curved. 
Do the best you can. There it is. Okay. We did it. Um, you should make sure you label the vertex. You should label the axis of symmetry. X equals negative 1. And we're done. That's what you're going to have to do. They're going to ask you to graph linear functions. And remember, there's the slope-intercept form of the line, the intercept of the y-axis, and the slope of the line. And now we have um, quadratic functions. AX squared plus BX plus C. All right, you guys try some of the problems. Let me know if you have any questions.